LockDock here to share some tips and tricks on installing the PIM Connect full surface modular hinge. The modular design allows for easy shipping and storage, saving you money. Even with its compact design, it can still be used anywhere a continuous hinge is needed, and once installed, it'll operate the same way. So first, we're gonna measure the door. If the hinge needs to be shortened, as ours does here, we're gonna cut it from the bottom only. Now this is a big factor because you want to cut it on the bottom so that you don't get any of the shavings inside of the gears. But once you do that, here's a reminder, this will make the continuous hinge handed. So double check that you've got the correct section before you cut it. We'll now position the frame leaf on the hinge on the face of the frame in the open position. You're gonna fit all of the hinge sections together by sliding the extended hinge cap over the geared hinge. This will ensure the weight is evenly distributed. Hey, here's a pro tip. Use the blue tape provided with the fasteners to attach the frame leaf sections together. This will make it a little easier to install the leaf sections on the frame. We're now gonna mark and drill the frame to attach the frame leaf to the actual frame. Now these screws are concealed once the door is installed, so make sure that you add all the screws during this step. Next, we're gonna take the door and position it into the opening. We'll shim it to adjust for proper clearance. Once the adjustments are made, install the screws in the door leaf portion of the hinge. We're gonna now remove those shims and check for the door swing and clearances one last time before installing all the through bolts. To install the through bolts, first, drill a quarter inch hole all the way through the door. We'll want to enlarge those holes on the inside face to 3 eighths of an inch. Now, we're ready to add the four through bolts and shoulder bolts attaching the door leaf portion of the hinge. We'll add the snap cover by placing it at the top and make sure that it's flush with the top of the hinge. And finally, don't forget to adjust your closer as the hinge most likely changes the door pivot point. 